Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to number two of the weather station observation here on Hacker Rank. And we're going to go over how to go ahead and do this problem. If you haven't seen my first SQL uh, practice weather observation station one, um, feel free to go back and check that out if you're new to SQL entirely, because that will help you understand you know, what we're doing in this query. So we're going to be querying some data. Uh, it asks for the sum of all the values in the column lat n rounded to two decimal places and then the sum of all the values in the column long w rounded to two decimal places. So here's what the table looks like. We have an ID, we have a city, we have a state, we have a latitude and a longitude. You can see latitude and longitude are numbers so we can go ahead and do some things like getting the sum of it, right? So it's pretty easy that way um, and that's exactly what it is that they want. So, uh, and they want it to be formatted like this, though, to be this way, we really don't have to do anything. We just simply select these two ones, add them up, round them, and then spin them out. Uh, we don't have to do any fancy, you know, formatting when we're, when we're showing the output. So, let's go ahead and start by writing the query. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, right, we're selecting values from the station table. And then what are we wanting? Well, the first one we need is the latitude. And the name for that is lat underscore n. So if we do lat under n, it doesn't need to be capitalized, honestly. That MySQL doesn't, doesn't care. It will recognize, oh, you mean this, this column here. Then the next one we need is longitude. So we need long underscore w. And say the table from station, end it with a semicolon here. We'll go ahead and run this. What that does is that spits out every single latitude, right? That was the first one, right? Yeah, latitude and then longitude on the right of each individual row. We don't want that. We want the sum of all of these, all of these latitudes, and then we want a sum of all of these longitudes. What's nice is SQL has a nice little function that we can use. It's called sum, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you just wrap that around in parentheses, so we're passing through this latitude. So we're getting the sum of latitude, and then we're going to do the same with longitude. Get the sum of longitude. And notice when we run this, it's going to be a little different. And you can still tell we got the wrong answer. The reason being we didn't round it to two decimal places, but we're on the right track, right? We have the sum and the sum of the longitude, sum of latitude and sum of longitude. And now all we have to do really is just round it to two decimal places. And luckily for us, there's another function called round uh, that we can use to do this for us. So we do round, and we're going to wrap the sum in the parentheses of the round. So we're going to pass in the sum to the round function. And this actually, this round function, it requires two things. So we get one thing, the thing we're going to round, and then a comma, and then how many decimal places we want to round it to. In this case, it's going to be two. And notice how these two parentheses line up, because they're in green, so that means good. Uh, we don't have any stray parentheses, which is always good, because <laughs> that will mess up your, your program. And we're going to do the same with longitude. Round. We're going to pass in the sum of longitudes, and we're going to round it to two decimal places. And notice now when we run this code, or this query rather, um, we get rounded to two decimal places for both, and we have the correct answer. So if you guys found this interesting, um, go ahead if you want uh, and play around with the round function and the sum function. You know, if we change this to three, you'll see we'll get uh, three decimal places now and boo it's given us the frowny face because it's not correct but go ahead and play around with that a little bit more and get yourself familiarized with it how everything works how we're passing in this into this function and then we're passing this function and this into this that can seem very confusing it's like a, a lot of layers to work with but once you get used to how to read this and how to write it um, it's it's quite simple, so I just recommend you guys just uh, playing around with it and getting used to seeing stuff like this. But anyway, good job. Uh, if you're following along, at least, we finished the second weather observation station sequel practice, and I'll see you in the third one.